Welcome to the module describing the origin, functionality, and use of Link Layer Port Discovery both separately and in conjunction with other GigaView features. In this module, you will learn about Link Layer Port Discovery and explore how LLDP and CDP Discovery can be used with GigaView features. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain what Link Layer Port Discovery is and how the resulting information is shared. Explain how Link Layer Port Discovery can be used and Describe GigaView 8 series support for link layer port discovery. A number of link layer discovery protocols are in use, but the most common are LLDP, defined by IEEE 802.1, and CDP, which is a Cisco protocol. These protocols are used to share information between directly attached neighbor switches. When both interconnected switches are configured for the same protocol, then the packet is removed from the link by the receiving switch and discarded. The packet is interpreted, but not forwarded. The best discovery protocol information will come from a tap because each side of the tap will forward from one of the switches so the origin of the traffic will be correctly identified. Discovery can also be used with span sports but information received from a span port may be misleading depending on how the span is configured. When a range of ports are included in the span session then different and conflicting LLDP CDP information may be received. As noted, when both interconnected switches are configured for the same discovery protocol, then the packet is not forwarded. However, when the receiving switch is not configured for a particular discovery protocol, then that type of packet is forwarded through like any other multicast packet. As long as care is taken with configurations, use of a link layer discovery protocol is extremely effective at sharing identity and configuration information between nearest neighbor switches, and the amount of information that can be expressed using the discovery protocol is fairly extensive. While there are doubtless lots of additional ways to use information derived from link layer protocols, there are three simple and common ways to use this information, and the information is accessible using standard access methods. The most common use is to validate patching. If port 5 is supposed to be connected to switch 17, but it looks like traffic that should be on switch 14 instead, then this is a great way to see where port 5 is really connected without walking or driving to the data center to follow cables by hand. Also, some engineers are better at documenting things than others. If you are facing a configuration which is undocumented, then enabling link layer port discovery is a quick way to find out where GigaView ports are connected without tracing cables. The nearest neighbor information can be used to remotely determine the origin of traffic flows. The other common way this information is used is in conjunction with NetFlow reporting. NetFlow summaries are sent from the device which generated them, and NetFlow collectors present that information accordingly. This is usually a core switch or router, and not a GigaView node. When a GigaView node sends NetFlow, then the collector presents the information as being related to GigaView interfaces instead of interfaces on the switch providing the packets. This situation is easily resolved using renaming features in the collector. In order to help with traffic origin in collector reporting, GigaSmart generated NetFlow can be configured to include the nearest neighbor identity obtained from the link layer port discovery. This simplifies the process since the correct name is included within each NetFlow summary report. As an extra benefit, SNMP management platforms can pull GigaView nodes for information that was gathered through the link layer port discovery process. Depending on which is enabled, use the standard LLDP or CDP MIBs for polling. Similarly, the Gigamon API can be used to gather that same information which was learned from the link layer port discovery process. Link layer discovery protocol snooping is available on any H-series node. Remote verification of where traffic is coming from accelerates configuration troubleshooting. Discovery can be individually enabled and disabled on each network port, whether the node is operating standalone or is clustered. Each port can store at least two and as many as 20 detected neighbors, depending on how much of the per chassis list of 2048 neighbors has been consumed. The neighbor name obtained from Discovery can be included in each flow summary sent by GigaSmart NetFlow generation in place of the GigaView port ID in order to more clearly identify the origin of the flow record. In addition to support for SNMP and API polling of the Discovery protocol information, the nearest neighbor list can be viewed through the command line interface, through the HView web interface, and through the Fabric Manager interface. Additional details about the link layer port discovery can be found in the LLDP CDP port discovery configuration training module, in the HView web interface online help topics, and in the user guides. In this module, you have learned about link layer port discovery and explored how LLDP CDP discovery can be used with GigaView features. 
you are now able to explain what link layer port discovery is and how the resulting information is shared, explain how link layer port discovery can be used, and describe GigaView 8 series support for link layer port discovery. This completes the link layer port discovery training module. Thank you.